According to Insider Gaming, Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake is coming to Xbox, so it's not a PlayStation 5 exclusive as previously reported. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's time for some very surprising Xbox news. So I'm not sure if you heard, but Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake is in development and pre previous reports suggested that this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, but it looks like that's not really the case. Looks like Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake is coming to Xbox too. So this information is a courtesy of Insider Gaming. And by the way, they are not the only ones reporting on this, because prior to this report, a couple of days ago, Jess Corden um, of Windows Central um, mentioned that uh, during the Xbox 2 podcast with um, Randall Thor, he did say that he have heard that Metal Gear Solid 3 remake may be coming to Xbox 2. Like, he wasn't really sure whether, whether it would be uh, a timed exclusive maybe for PlayStation or maybe PlayStation um, would have marketing deal or something. But I'm just saying that Insider Gaming is not the only source of this information really, so it looks like more uh, people are aware of it, okay? So, um, but let's check this report. So, Insider Gaming says this. Uh, Insider Gaming sources have revealed that the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remake will not be a PlayStation exclusive despite the rumors online. The Metal Gear Solid 3 remake is arguably one of the Konami's worst kept secrets, with it being understood that the announcement will be made at the PlayStation Showcase as a teaser, not a full game gameplay trailer. So that suggests that this game is actually quite early in development too. So, by the way, PlayStation Showcase will start at 1 p.m. PDT on May 24th, so that's in two days. Um, insider gaming sources have revealed that Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake will release for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X and Steam, so that's PC. Rumors of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Remake have been circulating for years, but a report from a report from uh, VGC in October 2021 cemented its likelihood. According to VGC, the remake is being uh, is being developed by Virtuos. Uh, other rumors have suggested that the Castlevania title is also in the works, uh, but as of yet, Insider Gaming was unable to verify if the title will show up during Summer Game Fest. Um, and then they talk about, you know, about the original game, really, when it launched and that kind of stuff. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, was a PlayStation 2 title. I think the later it was kind of, it received an HD version. I think it's also available on Xbox. Um, I might, it, it may be in Game Pass or maybe I bought it, maybe I bought it on, on sale, I think, because there is, I think there is a Metal Gear Solid HD collection, something like that. And it consists of like two or three games. And I think Snake Eater is actually a part of it, but it's, just an original game with, uh, you know, HD graphics, I think. It was HD'd or um, remastered, uh, maybe I should say, uh, for PlayStation 3, I think. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah, uh, this is a, an interesting um, news. Uh, first off, I don't really know why they went with Metal Gear Solid 3. Why not to remake uh, uh, the first game uh, from PlayStation? I, I think that would make more sense. Um, and this actually um, MGS one, the first one, was actually a beloved game. Uh, Snake Eater was too, but I don't know. Either way, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to report on on that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I mean, if they will show only basically a teaser, so some CGI basically, that means that this game is not coming out anytime soon anyway. So I would not get your hopes too high. Uh, so, and also, uh, like I said, um, there must be something to it because um, Jess Corden spoke of this game too. He was not aware of the Castlevania in other titles. 
looks like Silent Hill, I think. Is it a PlayStation exclusive? Uh, but it's still unknown whether it's a timed exclusive or something like that. So we don't really know that. Uh, but other than that, like it's, I guess um, I wasn't really the biggest fan of uh, of this particular title, Metal Gear Solid Three. If anything, I enjoyed uh, the first one very a lot on original PlayStation. So, and by the way, if you're interested, because you know the original on, on for PlayStation is kind of old but there is a, a remastered version for GameCube and that offers much better graphics and you know basically a proper 3D and stuff right so it's, it plays much better too so it's still a play a GameCube game so the graphics is not going to be anywhere close to what's what we would expect from these games that you know today but it's much better than the original anyway when it comes to graphics of course right so that's why I, i'm kind of curious why they did not go with this one right why they did not you know if if remaking games why not this one but i don't know maybe actually you know what snake eater because the thing about these games they take place in a totally different kind of timelines and i think Metal Gear Solid 3 may be the first of all of them. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, because, like I said, I never followed, like, the, you know, them, these games, like, like, to the bone, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it, it, that, it, maybe that's why they, were, they are remaking Metal Gear Solid 3, because I think, um, the the first one the first metal gear solid was actually after like when it comes to when it actually happened like throughout mgs timeline i think that uh, metal gear solid 3 uh, all the events of uh, mgs 3 were before what happened with uh, what what happened at uh, the first game same with MGS2 because MGS2 was like a well a, a sequel, but it, it the the events are after the first one. So maybe that's why that's why they went with the first one. So I guess to introduce games these games to new audience maybe it makes sense. Yeah, but that's why it's kind of confusing because like um, you know they start with MGS3 right. But thinking about it right now as I speak, yeah, it kind of makes sense. If I'm right, but and and I'm sure that's the case because um, I think MGS uh, is the events of MGS three um, are before the other games. But uh, anyway, so there must be something to it, right? Um, but yeah, it looks like we are still in the era of remakes and and stuff like. And don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against them. I mean. Um, Dead Space remake was great. A Resident Evil 4 remake was very good too. Um, so I don't have anything against it. It's just like, um, you know, I wonder if they if they are planning to do something more with the this IP later. I mean, obviously Konami is not really um, is not really involved in development because according to this. Um, According to VG, VGC, actually, the remake is being developed by Virtuos, so you know, different studio, not not Konami. I mean, it's still Konami's IP, right? They own it. But anyway, guys. So listen, uh, that's the news. Uh, well, I, I guess good news. I mean, the more games, the better, right? But um, yeah, it's an interesting one. So I'm kind of curious uh, what they're going to show at this PlayStation event. If anything, I'm sure that. A PlayStation will have marketing rights for this game, maybe even some time exclusivity. They are pretty known from this, so we'll see. But anyway, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.